Like what you said on the plane? Yeah. So what do you say? Oh gosh. <laughs> what do we do? What do we do? Oh boy, maybe it's a dazzling latte and a welcome back. Oh, just ignore them. It's been a few days since I last filmed this. I tried to record this episode before and my glasses, there was glare. And then that little blue light, you could see it on my face. So I turned my microphone to the left a little bit. <coughs> just wait here for now. I'll come back for you soon. Okay, I'll just finish my smoke. <coughs> Oh my gosh, why am I so congested? Well, this is it. I can't do this. I can't do this to Bree. Dave will understand, I hope. Okay, so where's Dave? I need to see Dave first. Okay, where is he? He's upstairs, isn't he? Let me do it. <clears throat> oh my gosh, what is that? Wasn't well, that the strangest thing you've ever saw? So creepy. Uh huh. Such a strange statue. It looks like me. A little bit. It's missing something from its neck. Okay, so it's not me, but you know. <coughs> <coughs> something under the lid. A red key card. Who would do something so disgusting? Unsanitary. Oh, we got the key card. Okay, can we, like, oh, excuse me. Excuse me! Yeah, but it'll wash it, because that's freaking gross. See, nothing special about it. Nothing special about it. Wait, is this our house? It looks so much like our house. <clears throat> Gosh, with like the the bedroom. Hmm. The hell is that on the right? Uh, Dave. Dave, it's me, Mark. It's not Dave. It's a oh, it is. You're late. Yeah, by two minutes. Mark, you know my rules. If you're late, no business. You wanna know something? Fuck your rules. This is more important than you hiding from the world. Mark, there's no need to be like that. I know this is important to you. But remember, you're in my house. And in my house, you listen to my fucking rules. You dig? Yes. <coughs> Good. Now, is everything set? Did you bring the girl? I brought a girl. How old is she? About early mid twenties. Bit young, but I guess she'll do. Dave, I'm not so sure about this anymore. If you keep falling for a woman to see, how are you going to bring your mother back? I don't know. Look, just bring her here so I can examine her. Okay, I'll be back soon. What's going on? Like, what am I- what do I not know about? What's this? Gee, experiment 104, codename MOTHER! The subject shows signs of restlessness and severe aggression. The human host is trying to reject the new brain cells. Strangely, it's merging with the host's brain to form a new conscience. This is no longer a si single being, but two in one body. I have named this new discovery the Chimmer Shimmerin Jiwi. Okay. See nothing special about it. What? Oh, strange. I have this painting at home, but I don't remember it being black. It's a note. What does it say? Uh, if. If it's the rose you seek, you'll need the right tools. Dave's books, the human anatomy. Looks like the other book has no cover. I mean, look at it. Look at it, look at it, look at it. Okay, what's out the window? Strange, there's a small black, there's a small back alley with pipes coming from the ground. There must be something under this building? 
Oh, you know we're gonna inspect that. Okay, let's go. Oh, it's getting spooky up in there. What is... I know, but... Ugh. Oh my gosh. Just checking everything. Okay, let's go outside. Let's talk to her. Bree, after everything that's happened, I, I just want to say I'm really getting to like you. Mark, don't get all mushy on me now. After everything we've survived, you're acting like this is the end? It could be. Okay, Bree. Let's go see Dave. Mark. Yes? I just wanted to say thanks. It's okay, Bree. Thanks for staying with me this whole time. It's hard to find friends like you. Especially when you have nobody. Okay, Bree. Okay, let's go. Sorry, I had to turn on my fan. It's starting to get a little warm. Uh, ah, you're both here! And who might you be? Her name's Bree. Can't you speak, Mark? I can speak. Hmm, so she can. So you wish to know more about these monsters? <clears throat> yes. They seem to be following me now. So we came here to look for answers. And answers you shall get. Now, where should I start? You know, me and Mark have known each other for a long time. We used the, we used to be best of friends, didn't we, Mark? Yeah, we did. So, what does this have to do with anything? This has to do with everything. My father owned the pharmaceutical company Neos Pharmas. They were working on a new drug that could restart the brain after death but only if the brain was still in contact. It was supposed to restore the brain's memory, like they never died. However, only the brain could reactivate, not the body, and the genetic code could not be rewritten. Then what's the point if the body doesn't work? Well, at the time there wasn't one, but my father found one. He designed these shells for the brains to control more like robotic skeletons. They replicated a human structure and some organs. He called them Jiwis. After my mother. The, monst the monsters you've been seeing are nothing but shells. If they're just brains controlling shells, why do they eat people? Well, that's what test subjects are for. You see, only the brain's basic functions were reanimated, which is eat and sleep. But they remarkably learned so fast. But why design the shells to be capable of doing such things? Remember when I said Mark has everything to do with this? Yeah? My father was a noble man. Respectable, honest, and loyal man. But even the best of men have their flaws. My dad and his mom slept with each other. <gasps> oh! So they were hoeing around. That's not cool. My father was too blind with his work. He didn't even notice. My mom left because of that. We both lost something that day. But my father lost his sanity. He turned the jeebies into monsters. He murdered Mark's father. Just to experiment on them? Oh gosh, that's not cool either. Oh my gosh. That's nasty. That was after he learned the truth. Mark? He told me you killed him. Bree, I... That's a lie, Dave. I know you killed him. How could I? I was never there. It was my father's mistake, Mark. Not mine. And I'm sorry about your mother. Mark. Mark. We can put an end to this. Let's make things right. Please, both of you, stay the night. I have a guest bedroom next door. Okay, well this is all shocking, Mark. Bree, I'm sorry I lied to you. I just want to tell you something about why I'm here. There's a reason I needed to know more. Ten years ago, me and my dad moved here. 
We both couldn't cope with the loss of my mother. My dad was a good guy. He just made bad choices. Oh my gosh, it's so loud. It's so loud. Okay. I remember coming home from school one afternoon. He was waiting in the kitchen. He at and he asked me how my day was. And we talked like typical teenage stuff, you know? There was a loud crash. Then the next thing dad said to me was, Brittany, he hide. And no matter what happens, don't come out. So your name's not Paris? I'm sorry, Mark. I'm sorry I lied to you. I used my nickname so I wouldn't feel so bad about it. You said that you wanted to know more. Why? I hid in the fireplace. It was dark. They didn't see me. I watched as they beat my dad near to near death. He owed them a lot of money. They beat him for quite a while. Then I heard one of them say, Let Jackie boy have him. You know, I thought I was dreaming. I thought things like this could never exist until I met you, Mark. Bree. I watched him be devoured by this, this thing. I'm sorry, Bree. It's okay, Mark. I trust you. And thanks for being there for me. I know Day is not telling the truth. We need to make him confess somehow. <gasps> we should look around while he sleeps. That's not a bad idea. There must be some place around here where he makes the jiwi. Do you know, Mark? We could kill some time. How? Seriously. Do you need a diagram or something? Oh god, she likes him. Oh, she likes him. Oh, you mean, mean like what you said on the plane? Yeah. So what do you say? Oh gosh. <laughs> what do we do? What do we do? Well, I mean, yeah. I mean... Like, they could both go at any minute. These things are chasing them. Why not? Let's go for it. They like each other, don't they? Bree, I... Shh. <laughs> okay, so that only lasted a split second. <laughs> I know, it was like they faded out and then, and then it was probably, you know, a while and then they... Yeah, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> Wow, that was... Wow. Ah, uh, don't tell me that was your first time. No, it wasn't. I usually don't get this close to people. Why? You're not afraid of a girl, are ya? I'm afraid of them being eaten. Good point. Okay, let's see what we can find. Dave should be asleep by now. I look downstairs. Achievement unlocked. Lost. <laughs> That's got like the. Uh, <laughs> oh gosh, it hits her going. And then him going. And then there's like a little uh, life mushroom from Super Mario Brothers above it. <laughs> I love that. Oh my gosh, I love that. <laughs> I should search up here. Oh, where did she go? Oh my gosh, where did she go? She was just in here. Although, she's probably searching around, too. Do I have to pop? No, I don't. Okay. Nothing special up here. Oh my gosh. Creation room. <laughs> Sorry. Um. Okay, computer. This computer. Obviously, all the information I need would be in here. And there's always it's password protected. But it might be. In and out. No. In a book. It's a book with no cover. It sounds like something is inside of it. A key card. I wonder what it's for. Okay, so we got two key cards. We're gonna need a lot of key cards. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay, so we need to go find a password. Oh, I'm so nervous. Guessing. Oh, it's the dining room. That's gonna be creepy. Where did Brie go? 
Oh no. Is she like miss oh my eyeshadow looks cute. It looks cute. It looks cute. Um Okay. Oh no. <laughs> Ooh, a workbench. Hey, some cable cutters. These always. Huh? It's stuck to the blackboard. It's turning weird. Something is uh, open. <gasps> it's a workbench. I'm gonna save it, okay? What's in the microwave? Well, here goes nothing. Something in here that's gonna go. <laughs> a jewel? Who put stuff like this in here? There's also a note in the back. Gotcha, Mark. Huh? Gotcha, Mark. What does that mean? <laughs> it's another key card. What are these for? Can't do anything with it. It's not normal. Why does he have a man sized cage in his living room? I had too much bad experience with those. Oh my gosh, he remembers. He remembers. Okay. It was a drawer. Oh yeah, I know. There's like. Got red, yellow, blue. We got like a red. Jewel. Okay, what opened? Oh my gosh, this is a statue? Statue! I know what I need to do. Statue. Put this in the statue. Well, if the jewel fits, it's just like the old games I used to play. Okay, so we're gonna find out what's in there. Ugh. Oh, I should not have had chocolate and coffee. Like that's because like I was chopping on a chocolate bar and then I was having some coffee with chocolate in it. My stomach's feeling a little because of all the chocolate. But anyways, for now we have to go. But until then, it's best selling day you and your pirate crew.